everyone. Hi. Hi. Welcome back, you guys. We have Carmen today. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys, today's going to be so much fun. Today, we're going to be doing a glam face tutorial, glam makeup I'm beat so on Carmen. Yes, we're going to be going full on beat, like full on snatched, full on glam beautified yes my mom full face. treatment yeah he's gonna go bye-bye <laughs> <laughs> like she's gonna get snatched you know yeah. it's it's the holiday season okay so yeah we're going to do that today and of course we're going to play with our chroma fusion because you know that's the hottest hottest thing right now They're so in pretty. the Mary Kate world so we're going to play with chroma fusion colors and carmen we're going to be doing contouring and highlighting and when i say that i mean not just a chroma fusion <laughs> we're going to be snatching her up using cream contouring so i'm going to cream contouring on her and also using the chroma fusion colors that we just got and that's the first for me so yeah. i'm excited yeah so if you want to see this beautiful makeup tutorial we've got planned for you today then please please hit the subscribe button join the family you guys we hit 600 Six, i know amazing because what? she's amazing of i can't course. believe it i'm so so humbled i'm like whoa go girl yeah i know her yeah i can't <laughs> believe it. you guys are awesome thank you to everyone who subscribed thank you to my mary Kay sisters i see all your messages your comments thanks to you guys because your support means everything and you I can't do it without you, like basically, okay? And yeah, today we have an American sister with me and we're going to have lots of fun. And please share, okay? Share with your MK sisters, share with your makeup lovers out there. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay? Thank you. Hi. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To start, we're going to be prepping Carmen's skin with the Reviving Facial Spray by Mary Kay. And then follow up with a Mary Kay Primer. If you haven't watched my last video, I'm going to leave a link above on the screen and also in the description box so you can go check it out. There we talked about and tried Lori Hogg's makeup hacks and tips and tricks to get in a flawless foundation base. So I'm going to be following those steps today to give Carmen a flawless base for her makeup. Going in with Mary Kay Cream to Powder and Bronze 5. I haven't used this in a while. Oh, how much I love it. How Just look how chocolate that palette was. Just really yummy and really chocolate. So that's what we're using to contour Carmen's face. And you can see we put it you know, on her forehead, her jawline, down her nose. And yeah, we're going to be doing all that. And then the key is just to blend. Like blend like your life depends on it. Okay? Like just blend. Okay? To get it to look natural. And you know, just... Give you that nice sculpt and warmth that you want back to the face so blending is key so don't don't skip on the blending when you're done as you can see now we're setting her concealer and yeah and you can do the drill if you have any questions or any steps i do that you don't understand absolutely hit me in the comment section and i'll be happy to explain or answer but i believe these steps are pretty pretty much uh understandable but if you don't understand absolutely comment down below and i will answer your questions For the crease, we're starting off with Cinnabar. I'm going to apply that as my first crease color. And I want you guys to notice what I'm doing, the techniques I'm using. I am pressing the colors onto the eyes. Like, I don't just blend them right out as I apply them. I kind of just build them and then blend if I need to. So you see, I applied Cinnabar like that. And then I will go in with Mahogany to deepen the crease even more. And now you see, I'm just kind of tapping the product in just kind of placing it first and then i go into blend where i need to because blending is key that is the key to being able to apply two three four eye colors on your on your eyelids and not look crazy is just blending and blending properly so after doing that now we're going to cut the crease and in this video you see me use a makeup hack which i think is awesome for makeup beginners out there if you're someone who's trying to learn how to do a cut crease 
just apply it on your eyelids as I did on Carmen and then look up fully up and then it's going to transfer onto your crease and that is the line you know sort of a guide you can use to carve out your cut crease and I think that makes it very very simple for a beginner to do so yeah that's what we're doing and yeah that way you can cut your crease pretty pretty easy Now we're going in with gold status and again I want you to notice the method I'm using to apply this color. I am patting it onto the concealer. I'm not just doing the windshield wiper motion to blend it right out. To give me that full payoff that I want, I pat my products in. That way you are getting the true pigment and the true payoff of these chroma fusion eye colors. And it's a technique you can use with all eyeshadows like to really get you the payoff. Comment is so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl. So, you know, to really give the payoff that you want, you know, you just, it's a great technique to use. So instead of blending every single product on, first of all, build it. So first of all, pat the product in and then you can go back and blend when you need to or where you need to. Up, we're using the dark brunette brow pencil on Carmen's brows and that is pretty pretty dark she has dark hairs anyway but when we were done I felt like it was just giving the look making it look too hard so I went in with the brunette brow tint which is kind of a lighter you know color than that color it's brown so I went in over her brow hairs to kind of soften the darkness of the brows you know because I wanted it to to look soft not as not as bold and not as harsh so it really made a difference I don't know if you guys noticed off camera but it absolutely made a difference in person made the look more appealing and not as harsh so don't sleep on those brow tints you guys they are awesome really really give it a try I'm just smoking her bottom lash line with cinnabar and then I'm gonna go over that to mahogany but I'm just gonna apply mahogany just on the outer corner not fully all the way to her, on her bottom lash line and then I'm gonna go in rose gold on the inner tear duct just to give her eyes some pop of color and to kind of open it up it's really really beautiful rose gold is one of the best shades I think they came out with in this new collection I absolutely love it so yeah that's what we're doing just to Give her eyes some more sparkle, you know what I'm saying? Next, I'm going to apply Latte Contour Shade all over her face. The areas I contoured earlier with the cream color, I'm just going to go over those areas with Latte. And then, after doing that, I'm going to just blend it in, blend in her temples, just to give us a nice warm look. And then we're going to follow with the blush color in Juicy Peach. I'm going to apply that on her cheeks just to give us a nice flush of color. I really love that shade. It's really pretty. I actually also applied Glaze Highlighter, but that, that um, clip was kind of corrupted, so I couldn't use it. But yeah, we highlighted with Glaze too on the cheekbones to give her some, some highlight. You know, that's a really pretty color. And now we're going in with the lips. We're applying the Medium Nude Lip Liner. I'm just going to use that to fill in her lips and just blend it in. And yeah. Wow, gorgeous, just gorgeous. Next is Bashful You. So I'm going to be showing you guys two lip looks you can use with this eye color. So we're doing a nude. So we're applying Bashful You 
on the lips and then we're going to follow with sun blossom lip gloss and that just gives you a beautiful perfect nude lip and i think it pairs really beautiful with these with this eye look and yeah you can wear it like this you can choose to apply gloss or not whatever your preference it's fine but yeah we apply sun blossom Next up, we're using a red lip liner. You guys know I'm obsessed with this lip liner, right? So I'm just filling in Carmen's lips with that, and then I'm going over with a limited edition lipstick in Red Roma, which you guys know I'm also very obsessed with. And we're just filling in her lips, and then I go over with concealer and just clean up the areas of her lip that maybe needs cleaning up, and voila! There's the final look, you guys. So you have the option of two looks. You can wear whatever lip color you choose. I just chose these two because I thought they're beautiful for the holiday. And yeah, that's the end of it, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and leave your comments down below. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.